As a lot of you know, there are a lot of people grinding for the 1.16 RSG world record, with arguably one of the best, Crookst, having almost 30 top times and coming extremely close to beating the record or getting the second sub 10 minute run ever on multiple occasions. Well, all of those times he lost the run were extremely sad to see and frustrating for Crookst, but all of those pale in comparison to what happened on the afternoon of January 5th, 2022. It was a normal day like any other. Several top runners were streaming 1.16 RSG attempts, hoping that they would be the one to claim the first sub-10 RTA Minecraft speedrun. Crooks, by far the favorite to claim it with his immense amount of fast runs and consistency, was doing a run like any other. He was about to enter the nether, but due to getting no flint from gravel, reset the run. What happens next may look very strange to you. He has six Minecrafts open on his screen, running at the same time. This is called The Wall, where players have a wall of Minecraft instances running on one screen, and they use a macro to reset worlds in all of them at once. When they see an instance that looks like it has a good seed, they click on it and then play the run. After selecting Instance 1 on his wall, Crooks loads into an island. As he grabs two logs, he lowers his render distance to do a strategy called Mapless Buried Treasure, or finding a buried treasure without a map, as the name suggests. If you want more information on this strategy, I'll leave a link to Talking Mime's video about it in the description. Once he finds the right chunk, he notices a piece of coal jutting out of the side of the coast, which indicates that the buried treasure is right there. With a good amount of gold, iron, and food from said treasure, he crafts his tools, boat, and doors, and after a pit stop to grab some gravel, heads off to a magma ravine. Unfortunately, he didn't find one, so he chose a cave that looked pretty good and swam down into it. Luckily, he finds some magma and starts to build his portal. He accidentally burns his flint in the lava, which prompts a search for some new gravel. Finally, he's able to light the portal and enters the nether at 2.13. A quick E-ray shows him that a treasure bastion is nearby, and on his way there, he notices a fortress as well. This is when Crooks and his chat realizes that this is a good run. The chat starts pausing, the world stops turning, but Crooks keeps running. He starts the bastion route at a little over 3 minutes, and less than a minute and 20 seconds later, he leaves the bastion. But not only does he leave the bastion, but he leaves the bastion with the trades most runners dream of. He has nearly two stacks of pearls, enough string for eight beds, 20 obsidian, and a good amount of fire resistance potions. He arrives at the fortress in under five minutes, and then proceeds to get absolutely horrible blaze rates, taking three minutes to get six rods. He did something called perfect travel during those three minutes though, which is a method of gauging exactly how far away the stronghold is, and finding the exact coordinates for where he will build his second nether portal. At around 8.30, he travels back into the overworld, into the stronghold, and with only a few seconds of navigation, enters the end at 8 minutes and 45 seconds. This was it. He was going to do what he had done in his other world record slash sub-10 chokes. He was going to do the Zero Cycle. And with the chat pausing with all their might, Crooks set up the Zero Cycle. All was going well, until... No. Crookst is still trying, of course. Sub-10 RTA will happen, and it will happen soon. Every choked or lost Sub-10 reassures the community that we are ready for it. It just needs to happen. And for Crookst? Well, he's still resetting, the top runners are still grinding, and the community is still saying, we go next.